Hi, it's Kate, your plant-based actress, coming at you after a month or two or four or six hiatus. The thing was, I did not feel like cooking or eating. I just ugh, couldn't even look at all the food blogs that I used to look at because I'm pregnant. And I had a really bad first trimester when all I could stomach were bagels and raisin bran. But now my cravings are back. I'm excited to be cooking. Today, we're having broccoli rob and white bean meatballs with a butternut squash tagliatelle. These are two recipes from two different blogs, uh, Connoisseur's Veg and Cookie and Kate. I've not tried them both together, but I think it's gonna be really delicious. Let's get cooking. So step number one, are we are going to make our meatballs. We're actually having company over t tonight. Um, family, our, my brother and sister-in-law, who are amazing guests. They always drink great wine. They always bring great wine, which I won't be drinking tonight. Um, but they're just, they're a lot of fun and they love to eat and they're very appreciative. So the best kind of company you can have. So we're gonna start with making these meatballs and then I'm going to cook the pasta and do the rest like while they um, are here. They don't know that they're gonna be in the video yet. So we start with a half of an onion, um, a, just one can of cannellini beans, a half of a large head of broccoli rabe that we pre-steamed. And by we, I mean my husband, my sous chef, my cameraman, partner in crime. Um, Got to throw in a couple cloves of garlic, three cloves of garlic. Wow, this is really filling up the food processor. A cup of panko breadcrumbs. Woo. We got a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which I don't use that in my cooking very much, but um, happen to have some on hand. I think it's a, something that most pantries have. Um, if you don't have it, you could probably skip it. Um, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. I always go a little heavier on the salt. And then we're gonna pulse this, so we don't want it totally mush. We wanna be able to mold it into little meatballs. But I mean, that's pretty easy. Just throw into a food processor and pulse. Okay, let's go. She said to stop and scrape down the sides occasionally, so. Well, I don't really need to do that yet. Wow, it looks like really really filling up my food processor. But the stuff on top is not getting blended like the stuff on the bottom. I wonder if I should have done this in a couple batches. My mom always said, never try out a new recipe on company, ever. Um, and if I had a little more time on my hands, we would have done a test run of this, especially if I'm making a food video. But you know what? I trust this blogger, Alyssa Sanchez, so much. Not one single thing I've made from that blog has been anything less than delicious. So just gonna trust. It's gonna jump and the net will appear. Okay, I think we're getting there. It's to that, it's almost to that consistency that she's talking about. Okay, now we are going to shape some meatballs. She says you'll get about 20 to 24. Um, so I have a oiled um, piece of parchment paper on top of my baking sheet and I'm just gonna use, as Melissa Clark says, the best kitchen tools, my hands. Hmm. These feel, I might have pulsed it a little too much. These feel um, a little wet. You have white beans, broccoli raw, like these are, these are actually kind of virtuous meatballs, but they're, you know, we're putting them on white pasta with a creamy butternut squash sauce, so the, the bitterness and the slight austerity from these healthy meatballs, I think is gonna balance each other out really, really well. So my beautiful 20 green meatballs are formed and now we just brush the top with olive oil. I just have to show you this, this is hilarious. Um, my husband makes friends with everyone and, and in our neighborhood there's this guy who bakes all the local bread and he's from Greece, he's quite a character. And uh, he asked if we wanted a little bit of Greek olive oil and we said yes and uh, this is what he brought us. 
I'm going to brush, you know, there's really no fat in these. It's just beans um, and the veggies and the seasonings and a little bit of panko. So I'm going to go a little bit heavy on this, these, how, how I'm brushing these. These are also a little soft. They're going to be delicious and nutritious, even if they don't hold up perfectly. Um, but I'm not going to be shy of olive oil right now. After all, we are having company. All right, so these babies are formed. I'm going to pop them into a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. And Alyssa says to turn them once every 10 minutes to and like to make sure they all brown uh, evenly on all sides. So here we go. All right, so the meatballs are a cooking, and now it's time to make that butternut squash cream sauce without the cream. So first, we're going to start with. Um, getting onions, garlic, and butternut squash all soft and luscious. And there's my baby up from his nap. Perfect timing. <sighs> okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil. Sometimes he just kind of like entertains himself in there for a little bit. So that's what we're going to hope for. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil. And then that's about uh, two tablespoons. And into this helps to turn the burner on. We add a little garlic. Um an onion chopped. This is all gonna get pureed in the um, blender or if you have an immersion blender, you could use that later. And then our peeled and cubed butternut squash. Okay, and then we're gonna add for a little bit of heat, some red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, we're gonna add about a mm, third of a teaspoon. Um, a little pinch of salt. And we're gonna cook this for a while. This is all gonna get, the onions are gonna get soft and translucent, so it's gonna go for like eight or 10 or 12 minutes. Kind of depending on how much you're making. I'm one and a halving this recipe because um, we're all really big eaters. Well, except for my sister-in-law, but she can drink. I love you, Sandra. So after these cook for a while, we're gonna add some veggie broth. Um, we actually didn't have any veggie broth in the house. So here's a nice little tip. Um, I used to be, when I was single and just threw dinner parties and just loved to cook, I was very snobby about my veggie broth and my veggie stock and I would make it from scratch and then I would tell everybody I made it from scratch. Now I don't exactly have that kind of time. I don't even really have time to go to the store and lug home a store-bought stock. But my um, good friend, introduced me to this better than bouillon, this vegetable base. I turned my nose up at it at first, but it's actually really good. You just heat some water, throw a scoop of this in, whisk it in, and instant veggie broth. And the taste is delicious. Hashtag not sponsored. But you can sponsor me if you want, better than bouillon. Okay, so the baby's fine. He's whimpering a little bit, but he also has toys in there, totally fine. And I just kind of looked at the time, and we're cutting it a little bit close. Our in-laws, my brother and sister-in-law are gonna be here soon. so. Um, you know, party prep. When people walk in the door, they always need, in my opinion, something to drink. They need to be offered a drink and they need to snack on something um, with the drink. So they drink martinis, so we'll be making those. But I'm also a bit of an egomaniac and want everybody to enjoy the food I make. Um, so I decided not to go heavy appetizers this time. We have this popcorn I'm gonna put out in a pretty bowl and um, it's really good. And then I also have these really beautiful local baby carrots. They're real baby carrots. So no one's gonna fill up. They're still gonna be ravenous for dinner. And then when they eat, they're gonna think I'm a domestic goddess. All right, so now we just need like a pretty bowl, a couple pretty bowls. Um, it's just so inviting when you have someone in, just like, you know, welcome to our home. What can we get you to drink? You just drove from New Jersey, have a snack. It's, they still have about five minutes to go, but already this smells delicious and is making me hungry. Just like it's savory, it smells like fall, there's a little bit of a chill in the air. This is gonna be so good. 
Okay, so we have a hazardous person up from his nap. Yeah, who cannot really be near the stove, but he also wants to be, it is hot. He wants to be held by mommy. So um, my assistant is going to pour the broth in. And we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Um, it's gonna reduce by half, so we're gonna cook it about 20 minutes. All right, so it's time to flip our meatballs. Let's see how they look. Well, okay. They don't look exactly how I envision them, um, but they smell amazing. So, okay, so these are gonna be, so, um, we're gonna change the name of these for Rick and Sandra. We're not gonna tell them they were having broccoli rob meatballs. We're having um, broccoli rob and white bean veggie patties. Okay, so obviously I used too much broccoli rob. Um, this is why my mom said never try anything new on company. When you know, you know. But also when you're cooking with really delicious ingredients and you're putting things over pasta, nobody cares, it's gonna taste good. It's a mess. I own myself. But you know what? Next video, I'll be... I'm all about transparency I'll be... and authenticity. And if this isn't transparent and, and authentic, I don't know what is. Well, They're going to taste good. All right, back in the oven they go. veggie meatballs slash patties need to be turned one more time. Um, I think that she had you turn them three times because they're supposed to be like round um, and these are kind of flat. I mean they smell delicious. They're gonna be so healthy and I think they're gonna be kid friendly too. So this is a little heavy for me, so we're gonna have my assistant pour all the, yeah, you're okay. Pour the beautiful squash, broth, onion, garlic mixture into the blender. Oh, okay, this is about to be some creamy sauce. It's gonna be so good. And now the fun part, the blending part. Good job. All done. All right, let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it looks like some creamy, non-cream sauce deliciousness. Yeah, smells great. It smells pretty savory. Uh, so it's got this, don't worry, the vitamix is off, so he's, he can't turn it on. If those, all you millions of my fans who are gonna write me angry letters, the child is fine. Um, no, it's, smells really savory even though it's you know the sweet squash that um savory um better than bouillon and the garlic and the onions really balance out that squash's natural sweetness it's gonna be good family and friends, and in goes this beautiful tagliatelle. Gonna put this on to bring it to a boil. All right, and now we need some popcorn. Okay, so the moment of truth, we're putting this luscious cream, non-cream butternut squash cream sauce over this gorgeous tagliatelle. It's a cream butternut squash that's not cream. 
No cream. Love and then it. toss. This is looking so luscious. All right. I mean, look at this. How delicious does this look? Perfect for like fall, winter, when there's a chill in the air. Look Don't at this. Oh my gosh, this is divine. Beautiful. Our guests say it's beautiful, I think it's beautiful. Um, sorry mom, I didn't take your advice. I'm trying a new recipe out on company, but I think it worked it's not in my favor. All right, let's eat, okay.